What's up, everybody? Remington from Impulse Creative. And today we're going to talk about how to turn your welcome message on and off and what makes a perfect welcome message. So when you're thinking about your welcome message, you need to think about it as if you're walking into a store. What is the first thing that you'd want to hear from someone that is trying to help you out? If you've walked into a Best Buy or other big box store recently, it's probably not the, what can I help you find today? Or it's probably not going to be something that around like, can I help you? Because that's so vague and it's super open and there's really no personalization that happens to that. If you walk into Best Buy and a rep asks you how they can help you, you usually just put up your hand to tell them to stop and you say you got it and you move on your merry way because you already know where you wanna go. So it can be no different with your website's homepage. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure it's friendly, it's open, and it's something that opens the door rather than gets it shut in your face. So when you're thinking about the welcome message, what you wanna do is you wanna think about how to open that door. And when we talk about opening that door, there's a couple, a couple key things that you wanna go over. So you want it to be very succinct. Don't greet your visitors with a paragraph. It has to be nice, short, sweet, and to the point. It has to appeal to the users. Who are your people that are coming to the website and who do you actually wanna engage with? It has to be something that is very personal or at least opens the door for that personal one-on-one -on -one communication. You don't wanna say hello everybody because at that point you're only speaking to one other individual. And it's very important just to think about how you would have a conversation with someone if it was a one-to-one -one message. So what I like to tell my clients is how would you greet someone via text if they reached out to you? Or what would that first message be if someone walked into your store and you weren't allowed to say, how can I help you, right? It can be much more, much more friendly. So there's an example on the Drift Help Docs that talks about a company who has a pet product store. And that pet product store, literally the opening question was, what's the name of your pet? right? Because if people are coming to that page, odds are they're interested in something for their pet. Why not start the conversation with the same thing that would happen if you saw someone's dog, you'd ask what the dog's name is. So think about how you can be a little bit more human and it's going to go a really long way. Now, the second part of this tutorial is to tell you how you can go in and edit this welcome message. Whether you have a free plan or a paid plan, you have the option to have your welcome message be turned on or off. And then of course you can set targeting as well. I've got more information on targeting in this video right here. But when we jump into Drift, what you're gonna wanna do is hit the gear icon off to the left, settings. And then what you're gonna wanna do is click chat widget. When you click chat widget, you'll see a spot for the welcome message. And when you get into the welcome message, you're gonna see a bunch of settings just like you see here. So you've got the preview for what the offline and the online would be. And then of course, you've got this toggle here to the right that would open up the welcome message. Now, if you've got a lot of playbooks playing that are very, very direct on certain pages, you may or may not want the welcome message to be turned on. But if you've got a free account, it's probably a good idea as that's gonna be the way that you're gonna reach your customers. With the online message, you can choose that online message and make it short and sweet. And you know you can go towards that one thing that might get someone to open up about you. And then of course, you've got your offline message, which is going to set as default. And you can see here when I choose the offline preview, we're not currently online, but if you leave a message, we'll get back to you. And then what you can do is you can also choose who shows up for that individual welcome message. You can pick and choose an individual, and you could choose through a whole bunch of people, or you can make it so that it's randomly chosen and it'll just pick a couple people that, it were, that are within the system. So once you build out your online message, try a few things out over the next couple of weeks. See what gets more engagement and what doesn't. And if you're not getting as much engagement as you'd like, you can always change it. And then remember, you can change it back too. But I'm Remington with Impulse Creative. If you have any other questions about conversational marketing or drift, please feel free to reach out to me in the comments or hit me up on Twitter at Remington Beg. If you'd like to see some other tutorials we've done, you can go ahead and you can do that right here. 
And of course, if you'd like to subscribe to our daily videos, you can go ahead and do that right here. Until next time, I'm Remington from Impulse Creative. Have a great day.